The IFA festival is held on the green sloping hillside owned by Universal Empress Queen Ifa Tuki, a place that she calls home. Tuki was born Yvonne Bernadette Augustine from the McSween clan. She married Anthony Drakes and raised their children and grandchildren in Ontario, Canada. Then they moved back to the lands in Grenada where her father, George Clarence, had given her. Hence the name Clarenceville. Within her faith as a spiritual Baptist, she carried the title Mother Yvonne and subsequently Universal Empress. Since her ancestral visions, she is now referred to as Universal Empress Queen Ifatuki, which means worshipper of Olodumare. Olodumare is the Yoruba word for creator God. Her primary Ifa guide is a well-traveled Nigerian-born High Chief Ifa Kolade, Olade Jo, Atinumo, Baba as he is called, has some Ifa followers in Trinidad and Tobago also. Ifa Tuki was directed to visit the motherland Africa for a deeper spiritual connection in Yoruba land. There she received reconfirmation of her spiritual leadership role. I had the privilege to meet some new people from many countries and during the course of our interactions, I learned a great deal about how they became involved with Ifa traditions and what it means to them and how they intend to pass it on to their offsprings. Let's hear some drumming and then we will get back to the story. The task that was assigned to me was to work alongside Kerlan Campbell, a local journalist who is one of the organizers of the IFA Grenada Festival. Now, let us hear from Universal Empress Queen Ifa Tuki. Today it's a special day. Every day we wake up, it's a special, but today is especially special. So we have baptism at the Church of the Unicorn, and we have a son, 14 years of age, who has approached the Holy Temple by receiving baptism, and his mom, who have already been baptized, got re-emerged with him in support of him, understanding that the taken. It is a good path and the path that will ensure that God will be his guardian and guard. So I thank the church community, those who came out to support, and just to say thanks and to say how grateful I am to be
in the mystical realm is green. But I didn't want to use all greens. I was trying to create the white with it. Mm -hmm. I think it worked out really well. Mm -hmm. And the style came in my head. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as a Dutch empress. Mm -hmm. And the style came in my head as this is how the dress is made. I need certain sleeves because I need to to have a difference than the ordinary person. Okay, one of the things I, I didn't have was the umbrella. Because you want, because Dutchess have beautiful gardens. You go around the garden, the beautiful umbrella, if you are who you are in the house, in the main house. Then you have the mistress of the house or the queen or this. this. In, in presenting this to the, to the world through the video, um, I can conceptualize it as this is our fashionable right. um, statement is made in the Aoife traditions. Right. And the royalty, mm -hmm. because our clothes are sure looks like royal clothes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it does. Yeah, because when you look at some, I'm, I'm talking about like Nigerian movies and some Chinese movies, that's this sort of that's right. so regalia that's, that's that you're looking regalia. at. That is, yes. That's the statement. Mm -hmm. of who we are, mm -hmm. in a sense. Are we bringing this back or we- We are bringing it back. Bringing it that back. That is what it used to be. Yes. And spiritually, we are bringing it back to who we are. To. Yes. And in bringing it back, are we trying to discard some of the misconceptions of who we are as a people, the royalty that we represent? And what was taken away from us yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right? Very important. We are who we are, and the clothes we wear mm -hmm. represents mm -hmm. who we are, who our ancestors. So we are, mm -hmm. we are actually representing mm -hmm. those regalias, our ancestors. The way how it the used way. to be That's right. before enslavement. Before enslavement. Before captivity. That's right. And, and the table that we set is this is where we live. This is this is our banquet table. Mm -hmm. You understand? Um, the, the royal people always had banquets, mm -hmm. and the food we put on represents mm -hmm. what they would eat, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how the table would be set. Yes, for a stately evening. Thank you.